In the fast-paced skies of military aviation, a surprising new challenger is soaring into the spotlight, South Korea's KF-21 Boramai. Once an importer of fighter jets, South Korea is now crafting its own cutting-edge warbird that's catching the world's eye. This isn't just another fighter, it's a bold statement of ambition, innovation, and national pride. The KF-21 is poised to lock wings with the world's most advanced jets, proving that South Korea is no longer just a spectator. With its sleek design and powerful capabilities, it's ready to compete on the global stage and rewrite the rules of aerial combat. Strap in as we explore how this rising hawk is changing the future of military aviation. The vision behind KF-21 Boramai. South Korea's aspiration to develop its own advanced fighter jet isn't new. For decades, the Republic of Korea ROK, has worked tirelessly to strengthen its defense capabilities, both as a matter of national security and economic strategy. As tensions with North Korea remain a constant factor, a robust and self-reliant defense system is crucial for South Korea. Historically reliant on imported military hardware, South Korea made a bold strategic decision. Rather than continue as a major buyer, it would become a creator and exporter of defense technology. Over time, this vision materialized in multiple sectors, on land, at sea, and in the air. Building upon this momentum, South Korea launched the KF-21 Boramai project a 4.5-generation multi-role fighter designed to replace the aging fleets of F-4 Phantoms and F-5 Tigers that have long served the Republic of Korea Air Force, ROCAF. But the ambitions don't stop there. The KF-21 aims not only to meet domestic defense needs, but also to capture a significant share of the global defense market. The KF-21 Project The KF-21 is the product of a joint venture primarily led by South Korea, with Indonesia also playing a significant role. Officially initiated by Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, the project reflects South Korea's industrial and technological rise in aerospace manufacturing. The South Korean government owns a 60% stake in the program, with private South Korean companies contributing another 20%. Indonesia, recognizing the value of this groundbreaking project, invested the remaining 20%. This international partnership has allowed for shared costs and technological collaboration, although South Korea remains firmly at the helm. Korea Aerospace Industries already boasts an impressive record of developing aircraft like the KT-1 Basic Trainer and the FA-50 Light Combat Aircraft, both of which have seen considerable export success. The KF-21 represents a natural, though highly ambitious, evolution of KAI's capabilities. From concept to production, What's truly remarkable about the KF-21 program is the speed at which it has progressed. Although development began less than a decade ago, KAI has already produced and tested six prototypes. These aircraft have undergone rigorous evaluations to ensure they meet operational and safety standards. Just last month, South Korea officially began initial production of the first 20 KF-21 units, only two weeks after the government finalized the production contract with KAI. The first batch is scheduled for delivery to the Republic of Korea Air Force by the end of 2026. This initial rollout will not only bolster South Korea's air power, but also provide valuable data for refining the aircraft before transitioning to full-scale mass production. Breaking down the KF-21 Boramai The KF-21 Boramai, which means hawk in Korean, is engineered as a single-seat, twin-engine multi-role fighter. While it incorporates stealth features, it is not designed to be as stealthy as fifth-generation fighters like the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. Instead, it strategically balances stealth, performance, and cost, positioning itself between fourth- and fifth-generation aircraft, a space often referred to as 4.5 generation. This pragmatic approach allows the KF-21 to offer many advanced capabilities without the exorbitant costs or geopolitical complexities tied to purchasing American or Russian fifth-generation jets. Variants of the KF-21 The KF-21 program offers a trio of specialized variants, each crafted to meet diverse mission demands and appeal to a wide range of global buyers. The KF-21EA takes inspiration from the U.S. Navy's formidable EA-18G Growler, transforming the Baramai into an electronic warfare powerhouse capable of jamming enemy radar, disrupting air defenses and safeguarding allied forces during combat operations.
The KF-21EX pushes the design even closer to fifth-generation stealth fighters, incorporating internal weapon bays and enhanced radar-evading features to increase survivability and strike capability in heavily contested airspace. Meanwhile, the KF-21S serves as a versatile export model, offering international customers the flexibility to customize systems, weapon packages, and avionics based on their unique defense strategies and budget constraints. With these variants, South Korea isn't just building a fighter, it's delivering a highly adaptable air combat platform for the modern battlefield, powering the Boramai. Under the sleek frame of the KF-21, Boramai lies a powerhouse of cutting-edge technology and raw performance, making it a true predator of the skies. It's propelled by two mighty General Electric F-414-GE-400K afterburning turbofan engines, skillfully built under license by South Korea's own Hanwha Aerospace, enabling the jet to slice through the air at blistering speeds of up to 2,250 km per hour, nearly Mach 1.83. Measuring 16.9 meters in length, with an 11.2 meter wingspan and a height of 4.7 meters, this aircraft boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 25,500 kilograms, allowing it to carry an impressive arsenal. The Boramai's armament includes advanced air-to-air -air missiles like the AM-120 AMRAAM, MBDA Meteor, AM-9X Sidewinder and IRIS-T, alongside ground-striking Taurus KEPD-350 cruise missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles and an array of precision-guided bombs across its 10 hardpoints. Complementing its formidable firepower is a suite of advanced avionics, including a state-of-the-art ASA radar, infrared search and track, IRST systems, and a sophisticated electronic warfare suite, making the KF-21 equally dominant in both offensive strikes and defensive countermeasures. With this potent combination of speed, versatility, and advanced tech, the Boromai isn't just flying, it's leading the charge into the future of air combat. Joining the elite, South Korea's new status. Developing advanced fighter aircraft is no small feat. Very few nations have managed to successfully produce fourth or fifth generation jets. With the KF-21, South Korea proudly joins an exclusive club that includes the United States, Russia, China, France, and Sweden. While the primary goal was always to modernize the ROCAF, the KF-21's export potential may prove to be even more significant. Many defense experts predict that it could reshape the global fighter jet market seizing a global opportunity. The timing of the KF-21's arrival couldn't be better. The international fighter jet market is undergoing a major shift. Historically, Russian aircraft dominated global exports, but recent geopolitical developments, including the war in Ukraine and increasing international sanctions, have significantly dented Russia's defense sales. Similarly, Chinese jets like the JF-17 and J-10 have struggled to gain widespread acceptance due to concerns about quality, after-sales support, and political entanglements. Meanwhile, some nations are increasingly cautious about purchasing American jets like the F-16 due to strict export regulations and shifting geopolitical alliances. In this vacuum, demand has surged for European aircraft like France's Rafale and the Eurofighter Typhoon. However, manufacturers like Dassault are finding it difficult to keep up with skyrocketing demand. Only 13 Rafales were produced in 2023, leaving many nations on long waiting lists. South Korea is poised to capitalize on this moment. With a highly advanced domestic manufacturing base, the ability to scale production quickly, and attractive financing options, the KF-21 offers an ideal solution for countries seeking a modern, capable, and relatively affordable 4.5-generation fighter. A strategic asset beyond military use. Beyond its defense capabilities, the KF-21 is also a symbol of South Korea's broader ambitions as a technological powerhouse. The program has created thousands of highly skilled jobs, driven innovation across numerous industries, and established South Korea as a serious player in aerospace manufacturing. The project also strengthens South Korea's geopolitical hand. By becoming a reliable supplier of advanced fighter jets, the country gains diplomatic leverage and builds stronger ties with partner nations seeking alternatives to traditional Western or Russian suppliers. What the future holds?
Full-scale serial production could position South Korea as one of the world's top five fighter jet exporters by the early 2030s. In parallel, the development of the KF-21EX variant will bring South Korea closer to producing a true fifth-generation fighter, while continued advancements in engine technology, radar systems, and stealth materials will further boost the aircraft's competitiveness. If you enjoyed this deep dive into South Korea's game-changing KF-21 Boromai, smash that like button and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more exciting stories from the cutting edge of military tech. Stay tuned, because the future of air combat is just getting started.